500 examples step by step in Eclipse. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how you can create a project in Eclipse using the Hibernate framework and I will also show you how you can connect to the database and insert the data using the Hibernate framework. So first of all, you have to download the Hibernate ORM. So visit Hibernate.ORM. So visit Hibernate.org and then go to the ORM section and here click on download 4.3.10 final and the download will start in few seconds so it is download downloading I have already downloaded it and this is in my computer here this is hibernate 4.3.10 final release and I have extracted the date the hibernate here under lib folder you can find the different libraries then it is the required libraries so we'll we'll need all the files all the jar files from this directory so first of all open the eclipse and then create a project file new java project You can write any name, then click next, then finish. Here we should create a new directory called uh, new folder called lib. And since we are connecting to the MySQL database, we need the MySQL connector.jar. Copy it and then paste. If you don't have MySQL connector Java file, then you can download it from the MySQL website next thing is to include all the jar files copy it then paste here now go to properties and add jar select all jar files and click ok ok now we'll create a new package dot domain the next thing is to connect to the mysql database and create the table so here is the command to create the database and you can issue the command connect hibernate 4 since i have already created the database and uh, so i'm connecting it so it is connected and i already have the a student table if you don't have you can paste the query so he's saying employee already exists so it is deleted I am creating freshly so it is created now the next thing is to Create the project. We already created the project here. Added the library. Also added it into the build path. Then now we should create the model file. So model file. This file is going to map to the MySQL employee table. Under model file new and class. Okay. We have the code here. You can directly copy it from here. Copy from here, then paste. So this is model file which is connecting to file new package. So it is the so I'll move it to the model package. Okay. So it's here. Now it's okay. So it is mapping to the employee table and the primary key is ID. Then the second column is amp name. Third column is amp address. Fourth column is 
amp underscore mobile numbers and there is a respective variables in the java class and setters and getters so so model class is simple and uh, next thing is to create the hibernate.cfc.xml file this is the configuration file of the hibernate it should go into the main package file the new file enter the name finish and then we can copy the code from here then next is to create the hibernate util, util class so this class is actually creating the hibernate session factory so file new the class change the package so this is creating the session factory and we have method called get session factory so here we are getting the session factory in the project next we will create a java class to testing the application file new class So our application is ready. Let me explain you. We have the Hibernate library files here, which are in the project build path. Then Hibernate.csv.xml, which is connecting to the Hibernate for database of the MySQL with the user root and password. And the Hibernate dialect is MySQL dialect. And here we have mapping for the employee model. And the model employee model is this, which is mapping to the employee table of the MySQL. And uh, we have Hibernate Util class, which is simply creating the session factory. And there is a method to get session factory. And in the create data, we are getting the session factory from the Hibernate Util class and from the session factory we are getting the session with the function get current session and we have the session then we are beginning the transaction creating the employee model setting the values here and then finally saving and committing the transaction so run it as java application and it will show you the insert into employee sql and it is inserted the data into the database you can download the source code from here we have thousands of tutorials on hibernate orm and the java programming language you can visit our website and learn all these tutorials thanks for viewing the video and visit our website to learn these tutorials also subscribe our video channel